Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for stopping by on my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe right now. And that would be very, very awesome. And with this vlog that I have, I'm going to mix it with English. Tagalog or either Bisayan and if you want me to proceed into English the whole length of it I will do it and so if you don't understand what I'm talking about there should be a transcribe right here at the bottom it should be right there if it's if you can't understand it so we are going to talk about signs of a man that deeply loves you mm. Okay, mga single dira ha? Daghang single din na ron. <laughs> Pandemic ra ba? <laughs> Pandemic ra ba? <laughs> okay. Signs daw. Signs. Mga senyales. Signal sa mga lalaki na deeply in love daw sa'yo. I know I'm married and I'm so happy I'm a happy mama i'm a happy wife and i am so proud to pronounce and announce that i am happily married and happily wifey and happy wife so anyway number one signs of a man that deeply love you ang unang una makikita mo dito is he respects you yun ang hirap hirap talaga yun Mahirap hahanapin ang isang tao na magre-respect sa iyo. Not just who you are, kung ano ka. Di ba? Makikita mo din na nire-respeto ka niya when, when he respects your family. When he shows respect to your family. Una nga eh, bibisita pa siya sa iyo. Di ba? Yung mga old style, old style, mamisita. Or sa una pa nga, nung unang-una, is meron pang harana. O, oh, diba? <laughs> ah, hindi na uso ngayon ang mga harana-harana. Pero, he will respect you as a woman. He will respect your womanhood. He will, he will respect your family and friends. So, number one talaga dito is, irerespetuhin ka niya. Lalong-lalo na sa mga decision mo. Lalong-lalo na yung katawan mo, re-respetuhin niya yun. Yun yun yung signalis na yung that guy really, really loves you. Number two, he will be there for you. In any ways, di lahat ng oras or not all the time, we are always in a good terms, we are always in a good life. Maganda yung takbo ng buhay, hindi ganun. Life is going up and down. Ganyan tayo. Ganyan ang buhay. Maraming if. Diba? Life. L-I-F-E. Nasa gitna. Merong if. <laughs> so, sa mga ganyan na mga if natin, they will be there for you. He will be there for you. So, isipin mo lang kung meron ka mga disappointments, yung mga failures mo, yung, yung anong nangyayari sa buhay mo. Sa lahat ng mga F mo, I, F, life, disappointments, mga problema sa buhay mo, He will be there for you. Hindi ka niya iiwan. Hindi ka niya iiwan sa ere na ganun-ganun na lang. He is even willing to, to step in. He will be there for you. He will be there for you. Yun yung pangalawa. Ano ba yan? Ang hirap pa naman magtagalog. Ano ang hirap pa naman magtagalog. And number three, he wants you to be happy. Yan ang hirap. Napakahirap. Ang hirap hahanapin sa lalaki na he wants you to be happy. Hindi lang happy in something, you know what I mean. We're not gonna get into there. We're not going into that route, okay? If this man really loves you, he will do everything just to make you happy. He will make you happy even if you don't say it. Even if he, even if you 
are showing an effort to be happy in front of him but he will feel it he will feel it that you are sad deep inside yung, yung sa loob-looban mo na malungkot ka diba? kung malungkot ka he noticed it he noticed it that you are not happy so kung napapansin nyo yon yung kalungkutan mo behind your smile he will make you happy he will find a way to make you happy not just flowers and chocolates and all those no not just money no he will make you happy no matter what and he will sense it he can sense it men are very sensible they are very sensitive number four <laughs> number four is he will support your dreams being a vlogger or being a mom nung mga baby pa yung mga anak ko ang hirap ang hirap na magtrabaho ka tapos may baby ka pa tapos so what I decide is that I need to stay home and be there for my children ang hirap napakahirap because isa lang yung income nyo diba if that's what you want and you tell your husband or your boyfriend that this is what I want this is my dreams I want to be there for my children when they grow up and see their first steps Second step, first mile, first of everything for your children. They will be there for you to support your dreams. Or else, on the other side, gusto mong magtapos ng eskwela. Kung gusto mong mag, uh, mag-abroad muna before ka mag-settle down. Gusto mong mag-travel around the world kasi gusto mong makikita ang lahat ng mundo. Kasi napakaganda ng mundo, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda. So, gusto gusto mo yun. Gusto mong matupad yung dreams mo. So, if if he is there for you to support your dreams, he really, really loves you. He supports your dreams, no question. He really, really, really loves you. Number five is, he will miss you. <laughs> he will miss you. Oh nga. Hirap kaya. Lalong-lalo na pag long distance relationship. I've been there, done that. On my other side is that, um, that would be including three years. One year when you were boyfriend and girlfriend and then I get married. I have to wait for two more years for my visa. And yeah. All in all, it's like three years. It's it's so hard. Very, very hard. I remember he always go home in the Philippines for three times a year. He will make an effort just to see you. He will make a way just to see you. Because he misses you. Or either if he can't do anything on his power, he will send you a card, he will send you a flowers, he will send you anything just to prove that he really, really miss you. He even text you. He will even text you on his work time. Kahit nasa trabaho siya, well, he will text you that, hey, I miss you. Diba? Or even call you on the phone that he miss you. Yun, yun, yun. O, oh, diba? Ang hirap kaya mong Tagalog. Napakahirap. <laughs> okay. Number six, he will keep his promises. I know sometimes we as a woman, we are very not controlling. We have rules. We have rules. Dami rules. Dapat ganoon, hindi ka dapat, hindi pwede ka mag-likes dito, hindi ka pwede man selfie selfie, baka naman nakakalain nila, simok ka. Ang dami ko yung rules, di ba? For example, if you have a plans together to go for a date or go for a movie date or a restaurant you guys have to go for a special date together a together time or you and him time if he failed that time and he misses one minute for your time that you want him to be there he will assure and text you like hey i'm so sorry i missed uh your text or i missed a date or i'm so sorry that um I wasn't on time, but here I am as I promised, I'm here. Kung ano mong nagawa niya, nagpa-promise siya sa'yo na hindi niya na uulitin. Yun. He will keep his promise and he will never make a step to fail whatever promises that he made between you and him talked about. Hindi ka niya, if you fail, 
kung ano man yung before nag-involve sa relationship, before kayo nag-step into a relationship, kung ano man yung mga kasunduan nyo, hindi niya gagawin yun to fail you. He will keep his promise. The moment when you get into a relationship, the moment when he knows your likes and dislikes, he will make a move that he will try not to fail his promises. Whatever promises that he said that, okay, I will not do this, I will not do that, he will keep his promises. Sometimes we have to stretch our patience. Kasi, tao lang tayo, nagkakamali tayo, di ba? And whatever your dislikes and likes, he will keep it to his heart, not just to his brain. Because sometimes the brain forgets. We forget. The brain forgets. Number seven is he won't judge you. Even one bit. Kahit papunta niya sa bahay niyo, hindi ka nakapaligo. Bakit naman? Maliligo ka naman, minsan. Maliligo ka naman, minsan. Hindi. Um, kung hindi ka man nakasuklay, naka-t-shirt ka lang ako, ganun. T-shirt lang ako minsan. So, kung naka-t-shirt ka man, or... Ang iba kasi, kailangan naka-makeup ka pa, kailangan... Oh, bakit ganon, di ba? Pero kung, kung ano man yun, a guy that truly loves you or a man that truly loves you, he won't judge you. Kung itong isang taong na to na nagmamahal talaga sa'yo, tatanggapin ka niya. Hindi ka niya i-judge. Tatanggapin niya lahat kung anong mga bagay mo. Ganon talaga ang buhay. Nagkakamali tayo. Hindi natin inaasahan na nangyayari. So, kung totoong mahal ka ng lalaki, kung ano mang mga bagahe mo, he won't judge you. He will never, never, never judge you. He will accept the way who you are. Lalong-lalo na kung meron kang anak sa unang asawa or meron kang anak sa pagiging dalaga mo, kung ano man yung mga bagahe mo, tatanggapin niya yun. He will embrace who you are. He will accept who you are. In other words, kung ano man yun ang nangyayari sa buhay mo, hindi ka niya sasabihin na, oh, ganito, pasalamat ka, may nagmamahal sa'yo. No, hindi ganyan. Hindi yung ganyan yung pagmamahal. At the end, malalaman mo din na kung kinikwenta ka niya yung pasalamat ka, may nagmamahal pa sa'yo. Ano ba yun? Hindi ganyan. Kung mahal ka niya, he will embrace you. He will never, never judge you. Number eight. He will never give up on you. Kahit sasabihin mo nagkakamali ka, or in one time you just decide, oh, break up na tayo, tapos na tayo. Hindi man niya lang alam kung ano nangyayari, bakit kayo nagigive up, ba diba? Sa mga ganyang paraan, kung mahal ka ng isang lalaki, kung mahal ka niya talaga, he will never give up on you. He will pursue and keep pursuing you. He will find a way just to pursue you. He will, he will try to go and see you and find a way just to see you. Yung hahanap, hahanap at hahanap siya ng paraan just to make a way kung paano, kung paano ka niya babalikan, kung, kung paano ka kayo magkakabalikan in my own experience before we get married we break up once yeah, we break up once because I'm so scared to get married and I'm so scared of married life especially he lives in far away from me and you know, his, he lives far and to embark in married life is a very very serious decision so I give up on him and I was heartbroken honestly <laughs> but yeah he find a way to give me a call he called me on the phone and he asked my hand again for twice and yeah and then after that we get married yeah If a man that truly, truly love you, he will pursue you and pursue you and pursue you. He will never stop pursuing you. Number nine. You are in his future plans. Hmm. Alam mo na yun. Alam mo na yung mga future plans. 
kung ilan yung mga anak natin, kung anong style ng bahay natin. O, oh, ba diba? Yun yun. Alam mo na yun. Yun yung mga future, future plans. Plus, if in the future he introduces you to sa pamilya niya, sa mga kaibigan niya, yun yun. Galing, no? <laughs> Sarap ng buhay pag may nagmamahal. Yun yun man ang totoo, diba? Gusto natin na sa buong buhay natin meron, meron tayo na hindi natin makalimutan na na-introduce tayo sa pamilya niya. You know, yung yung sa mga ganyan na mga ways. In other words, or in in a different uh, example is if he talk about children and he will have a trips or vacation and he was at if me and you go to somewhere Hong Kong or something and have a pet and you are on his plans that means he really really truly truly loves you he really truly loves you or he truly loves you and if his plans and you're not on it that's a bit shady if in the future that he will not introduce you to his friends or his family now that is sad that is sad. number 10 last but not the least is he will always tell you that i love you oh <laughs> boom fireworks beep, 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 beep. okay the fact that it's hard to say from a man to a woman to say I love you and if he's not ashamed to tell you that I love you yes honestly it is a fact that it's hard for them to say that because ikaw kaya ko mabasted kaya mo ba kaya yun diba sakit kaya sakit kaya pag madump tap ka tsaka mabasted diba it's very very hard so when he's courting on you or if he is showing his love for you not just by saying like oh my, my chance pa ba ako sayo especially in that day the first time when he when he trying to to show his feelings towards you if if he wants to show his feelings the moment when he said that to you that i really really love you or that I love you. Yun yun na sarap kaya. Para may chocolates and honey at teka may mga peanut butter pa yun. Diba? Sarap kaya. Diba? So, pag ganun, if he is not ashamed to tell you that I love you, especially sa in front ng pamilya niya, sa mga friends niya, tapos, example din, pag nandun kayo sa mga public places, diba? Yung maraming crowd, and then he will whisper in your ears, or he will tell you up front that I love you. Ganun yung mga ganyan-ganyan, diba? He really loves you. He does loves you. Now, my final words, my final thoughts. If you see those tens of those signs that a man that, oh, he really, really loves me because the signs were in there. Now, to be honest, you need to remember and ask God signs then, diba? Ask mo din yung signs ni God kung siya na ba talaga. Because in the end, it's not just you and him. It's between you and him and God is in the center of your relationship. Remember that man closes doors, but God opens the doors. So yun yun. <laughs> so in order to have no regrets in the end, I pray mo yan. Kasi yun, yun lang yung only way to be notified na yung, yung puso mo is at peace. Yun. Yun lang yung last step mo. I pray mo yan. Kasi at the end, ikaw din ang magiging masaya. Kayong dalawa magiging masaya. And that's it. That's the science of a man that deeply loves you. So thank you guys for watching Shasha SJ. Come back again next time. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down here or over there. And if you have any suggestions, any questions, leave a comment down below. And I would be happy to answer them all. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys have an awesome day. Remember, you are awesome!